I was told about Natasha's story after I'd met her a couple times when she was out to ride and had to investigate further because I know how much Sue and Sophie just love Natasha, like their own sister and daughter. And the more I learned about Natasha, the more she was contagious and just needed to, to know more and become involved with her. I don't really like to tell people about my story anymore. I kind of like to tell people about the whole story because there's way more kids with cancer than just me. Since May, it was the reality of discovering that uh, Natasha has a DIPG, which is a rare aggressive brain tumor, um, inoperable. The only thing we could do was radiation, which is what Natasha did for 31 days. We decided that it would be really neat to involve the horses in a fundraiser for Natasha because she just comes across as an absolute animal lover. We thought it would be a really nice way to bring everyone together and help with Natasha to bring a voice to childhood cancer, which is her goal that she set for herself that we just find amazing. On September 12th, we are doing a Jim Canna at the Alzar Temple, uh, just the Fez Dome, which is just inside the city limits in Calgary. And then on September 13th, we're hosting a tack sale, and we're calling it the Tack and More Sale because we're working with a whole bunch of different uh, industry representatives and zig exhibitors. It means a lot because I, I really like riding, and I haven't been able to ride for a while, and I really miss it but I think it's just gonna ha it's gonna be a good time for everyone. The outpouring of support has been amazing. I think her story has really touched a lot of people's hearts. It's just amazing and if people can come out to support this good cause, um, that would be wonderful. Even if you don't and you're not interested in horses, that just come out because it's not about horses, it's about um, raising awareness for childhood cancer and making sure that everyone's voice is heard. Natasha's attitude is um, to find purpose and meaning in what's happening for her. Um, she's been a, an example to me to do the same, um, that her life has full purpose and meaning and that she has trying to find some connection to not why this has happened to her, but what can she do about it now? And how can she make a difference is pretty much her attitude. I believe that if we find the cure to childhood cancer, we'll find the cure to all cancer. Like, I imagine a world with, uh, like, where you get a shot when you're first born, and then you grow up to never get cancer. Natasha really I would use the word captivated me when I was learning more about her and I just really was um, amazed by her approach to life in general and I, I wish I could be more like her and I, I feel like the world would be a better place if everyone could be a little bit more like Natasha. So it was just really, it made perfect sense, it was a no-brainer to figure out how we could make it work the best way that she could enjoy it as well. My t-shirt is my, basically my merchandise says stay happy, live long with a little smiley face and that's kind of my slogan because I want to be happy all the time and I don't want to die young.